Hey guys, welcome to lovely Jasper, Tennessee. So these are some Bortle II skies. We're gonna have some clear skies for the first half of the evening. I don't know what we're gonna shoot yet, but something probably on the Milky Way or maybe a galaxy. Anyway, we have an unobstructed view of the entire sky. Nothing blocking north, south, east, west. I can pretty much see anywhere. So I'm really excited to be back in Jasper, Tennessee. Hey guys, I'm in Jasper, Tennessee this week, and uh, I'm on a coronavirus vacation. I haven't had a haircut in who knows how long because I can't find a barber who's open. And I was just cooped up in my house, and I said, you know what? I'm going for it. I've been cooped up too long. This is America by God, and I'm just going to go and travel. So fortunately, Tennessee is one of those states that also is open, just like Texas is. We don't have those restrictions going on that many of the others, many of you probably have wherever you live. Uh, <clears throat> so I felt free to go, besides the fact that I'm an American, by God, <laughs> and you're not going to tell me where I can go. So uh, I did bring my mask and my gloves, and uh, I've used them on occasion when I felt the need, but uh, generally... I found it quite interesting and surprising that, you know, when I got here, uh, people were just so glad to have the business, you know. The businesses are really struggling, I found. Just, you know, motels, hotels, and restaurants, they're just happy to have customers. So that was a welcome sight. Anyway, I'm here in Tennessee in Bortle Two Skies, and we're working on some targets. So uh, for the first week, I guess maybe I'll show you the target that I've been working on. Part of the data is coming from Dallas, Texas, and the other part is coming up here from the Mortal Two Skies here in Jasper, Tennessee. And uh, so this is the, uh, what is this? This is the Leo triplet. So we're going to show you how I mix that together. So this is a combination of uh, mostly 10 minute subs. So let's get into it. Hey guys, so I've got enough data to go ahead and process this image. So part of the Part of the subs were collected in Dallas. The others were sort of collected here in Tennessee. So all in all, I've got, uh, looks like uh, 36, 47, uh, 48 subs altogether. And it looks like the RG and Bs were 10 minute subs each. And the loom was a five minute uh, session. So to all in all, it's uh, almost seven hours of data which is good enough. I lose patience with uh, galaxies after a while. They're not as much fun to do as nebulas, obviously. But it's, it is a good test of the new Astrodon RGB filters that I have in there. So all in all, seven hours of data uh, between Bortle 8 and Bortle 2 skies. So let's kind of look at the look at the results here. So I'll bring up uh, PixInsight here. So uh, when I initially integrated it, you know, I used the script batch pre-processing. I think I just did the normal batch pre-processing. I didn't use the weighted. Uh, anyway, so here's the R that I came up with. A little bit dirty. Here's the here's the G, and this is before I stretched it. And you can see uh, lots of light pollution there, especially from the Texas sessions. And the B was very light polluted. Here's the B sessions. And then finally, the loom data here. Quite noisy. I think part of the sessions I was also dealing with a full moon or a partial moon or something like that. So when I integrated them using pixel math, just the RGB looked like this. And uh, there's a lot of potential there, but we just need to clean up the noise and we need to stretch the colors a bit. So the first thing I did on this would, would be to run an AC DNR on this thing to just clean up the noise. Just drop that in there like that, and uh, that's the first thing I would do. And then what I what I did was I after I cleaned it up and stretched it, this was the result here. So you can kind of see the before and after. This is before stretching, before cleaning up, and this is after cleaning it up. I I cropped it a little bit, 
and uh, I darkened the background a little bit and obviously AC DNR cleaned up the noise I stretched the colors a little bit I just pushed the uh, in the curve trans I just pushed the uh, saturation level and the C level up that's all I did and then I darkened the background using a mask and that's how I came up with this version but I wasn't done when I was at this stage when I was at this stage you see it has a little bit of funny noise going on in the background there so what I did was I split this into a separate RGB components that's what you see here here's the R it's got this line going through it right there here's the here's the G and then here's the B B is actually quite noisy you can see lots of noise in the B channel the blue and what I did for each of these RGs and Bs, I created a flat file. So let's just look at the B flat. So here's the B, and then here's the B flat file. So you can see what I did was I duplicated that, that yucky noise. And I'm going to use this false flat file to get rid of that. And I did that for each of the RG and Bs. And I already have a video on how to create these, but I'll just give you the quick tip. So the way you create a false flat here is you copy B and then you run the uh, star remover tool on it let this guy run okay now that the the uh, star remover tool has completed then I'm gonna go ahead and use clone stamp here and I'll put this on 155 make it pretty big we're just gonna clean up the white areas here just grab a dark section and blank it over on the white like this do the same down here Grab this one and this one as well. Just darken that up. Up here in the corner and down here as well. Okay, we'll accept that, apply that. Then we're going to run this flat maker tool. And the flat maker is just a multi scale median transform with six layers. The first six are disabled, only enabled is the residual layer. So when we run this guy, FlatMaker, this now becomes the flat file. And this is what it looks like. So here's the B, and then here's the flat file that goes with it. And the way you use this flat file, since I already have a flat, I'll go ahead and blow this one away get into pixel math you just run the name of the file you want to start with r times the mean of the flat file r flat then you divide it by r flat for the g g times the mean of g flat divided by g flat and b the really dirty one times the mean of b flat divided by b flat see what i'm doing there just applying that mean divided by itself for each of the three I have will run for red green and blue so let's run that and here's the final result so we'll compare that to this result here and maybe it's not to, you know it's a it's a subtle difference but especially the blue channel is nice and clean on this guy on the right so there's a there's less noise in the image and this is what I'm gonna call the final result so actually I've got it saved right here yeah so that's it this is my Leo triplet and combining uh, Bortle 8 and Bortle 2 skies what do you all think well I'm hoping you guys have clear skies and I'm hoping that you're able to get out and avoid the cabin fever so to speak and uh, we'll see you next week thanks for watching